Well, look, music of all sorts, new, old, heritage, great songs you've never heard before, some old rockabilly tracks that you just heard, you know, in that shop in Shoreditch or wherever. I don't know, whatever. I mean, you just constantly, you know, the music, I mean, I'm just lucky. I do a show on the radio. I can get away with what I want to get away with. I can play brand new exclusives from hot flush record label that they send me or from a full tet or from a Daphne or I can find some old analog Africa re-release of some killer music from Colombia or Sierra Leone I know that it's just it's constant the music and I've got so many great people around me that I've like you know known and learned about through the years people like Lefto and Sinbad and and you know all these guys who are just mad music fanatics and they're just like collating and could get so oh Giles were like that and they're sending me this so how can I just say I mean I'm just like pff. my biggest problem for me to be honest with you as a DJ is like I was just doing some gigs this weekend in Brussels and in Toulouse and I had two hour sets and it's really hard to put what I am into two hours sometimes you know I need now, now when I get booked to do gigs in a way I play all night because then I can satisfy the people who come and listen to me because I get a whole gen different generations of people as well I get weirdos who just want to hear me play what I was playing at Electric Ballroom in Camden in 1988 you know and then I get other people who want to hear me play like drum and bass and or that set that I was playing at sort of Glastonbury in the dance stage or Big Chill you know there's you know people who want to hear me play Brazilian stuff oh yeah Giles is an expert on Brazilian well I'm not but I just play a bit of it so but then I'm really my main thing is like you know I'm a club culture guy I was there I was there, you know, I was there in Shum, I was there at the Royal Oak, I was there uh, at the Weekenders in New York at Body and Soul, and, and I love the heritage of dance music, and, 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 and I'm, you know, I, I hold that very close to my heart, and I think I have to, as a DJ, I feel that I have a responsibility to represent a certain way of playing and a certain attitude to being a DJ, which comes back from the Larry Levans and the Francois Kavalkians and the Louis Vegas and you know all of that the Morris Fultons and the Detroit scene all that is really important to me and I think that you know when I go and play in certain clubs particularly in places like in Japan you go there and they have so much of admiration and respect for the traditions of dance music and I feel that I'm on part of my duty as a DJ is to remind people where it's coming from and I think that's how I am with DJing and with music it's kind of like a mixture of um, of you know okay this is really great this track by James Blake that's just come out on a blog but actually there's a really good link to this track there which has inspired it and you know and for me it's like that's how I like to do it and luckily you know I'm still totally I couldn't live without the new music, and that's why I live in London as well. Because London is just the best place for for the constant movement and constant action in music. So you can't sleep in London, really. And so I have to represent that. So that brings us rather neatly into uh, what can we expect from the Brown Brownswood Christmas party? <laughs> well, this year's been such an amazing year for me and uh, for the label and for the festival that I do in France and a lot of good reasons to be excited about a Christmas party and I didn't really want to do anything that was going to be um, nothing short of amazing, you know, just to celebrate a great year. So. I've just had a brilliant year, there's been amazing music out this year, um, it's got across to more and more people, I've got my top DJ who's coming with me who I think's become, you know, he's about to become the big, big superstar DJ, which is DJ Lefto, and uh, in fact I'm going to get, I'm going to try and get on a bit earlier, because so he's, you can't, you can't play after him, he's too good, it's one of those, it's one of the, in the beginning I was like, yeah, yeah, cool, no, but he's amazing, so I think it's going to be a platform for us to have a really great night and, uh, and, and celebrate what an amazing year it's been.